it's yours and welcome back to my channel hey, and guys. today we are finally doing the Q&A that we owe you yes <laughs> yes the piggy Q&A and yeah let's get straight into it I don't want to make the intro too long because it might be a long video do comment down below let us know what you think the gender of the baby is yeah so we're mini not me. gonna yeah or mini me <laughs> Let us know, we're not going to reveal it in this video and I know there's a lot of questions asking us about exactly that um, We just think it's better if we kind of sassed out what you think it, you know, is it a boy, is it a girl? Anyway, if you do like this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already Love you guys so so much, enjoy! Mwah. Hey there! <laughs> It's y'all's channel. Ooh, do you want more children? If so, when are you thinking of having your next child? Yeah, that's, wow. That's pretty soon. Whoa, like, can we first have one baby first? Yeah, we, I mean, <laughs> the I first mean, one, you know, like this one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, I did mention this in a vlog a while ago, the one with the Mercedes A200. Yeah. That car thing, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that hubby does want at least four babies, at least minimum. Four, five, yeah. six. Yes, you can big, go on big, and on. At this rate, we had four or five. Um, yeah, we do want more children. That's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> we want more children. His answer is minimum four. What names have you guys decided on for baby? Ah, uh, if we actually give you the name, you'll know the gender. Definitely. Oh, so, yeah, uh, no, we can't give out the names. That's so sad. I feel yeah. so bad because we love it. We actually. It, even if we just uh, gave you hints of the names, you, you automatically, automatically know. Yeah, yeah, because, it's just I mean, too easy. From the minute that we knew the gender, we obviously thought of names. Yeah, in fact, the same night. Yeah, so. Yeah, that, that was like <laughs> that pretty immediate. <laughs> Only thing I had to let you know is the names was shortlisted very quickly. Down to three, very very, very, very quickly, quickly. <laughs> and um, then down to one. Within a week. Yeah, we knew we knew baby's name. Name. Yeah. yeah. There's no doubt. Yeah. The baby knows. <laughs> baby knows. <laughs> baby knows baby's name. That's very true. How are you preparing your home or house for the bundle of joy? Nothing much has been done yet. Mm. Um, kind of just chilling it out. We bought a lot Too of sure. things, but we haven't really fully prepared, like, we haven't baby proofed the house or anything like that. I think it's too early for that. Yeah, well, I don't think it's too early. I actually think it should be done, but some people are like, you know what, let's take our time. Um, there's only three and a half weeks left, but you know what, like, whatever. Um, as I said, this week, we're gonna be setting out some few things that yeah. baby's gonna need. And then, because it's not as if we're going to have a dedicated room for baby. Yeah, we're not going to do a nursery anymore. We were planning to, initially, but not we yet, decided against it. Yeah, well, not yet. So when I spoke to a lot of other women that did prepare a nursery, it turns out that your baby, for the first three months or so, you actually, especially if, if your baby's born in winter, you don't want to roll out of bed and go to the next room to feed yeah. baby. So what we did buy is a cot that attaches to our bed. Um, and when it comes to breastfeeding and all of those things and you know taking care of baby at night We'll just do it in our room and then um, during the day baby will sleep in the guest bedroom Which is technically baby's room right now. It's already stuffed with baby stuff Yeah, yeah so. we need to get a bigger place. We need a bigger place. Yeah, we need like a three bedroom two bedrooms is not enough So which we were planning to do but then afterwards we realized the nursery is not necessary yet um, maybe when baby's a lot bigger, like what, towards six months, we'll start thinking about that. Correct. Ooh, what unwanted advice have you received so far? Goodness, I, I don't want to nitpick, but I just hate the fact that everyone's got advice. Of course, everybody's like, always got even if you, some sort of advice. Yeah, that's actually like for me, it's even when I'm not feeling well, people have advice instead of just giving me a hug <laughs> or just saying it's okay. Like What to take? Yeah, like what concoctions? I've tried everything. I think I've also done that. Mixed everything. Oh yeah. So I think unwanted advice has been more the advice where it's unnecessary. Wait, I I just literally want an ear or a shoulder to cry on, yeah. or just someone to literally someone to listen. You know, and if they're there, just a hug would be fine. Thanks. I don't need the advice because I've been through it all, I've read the, the books, I've read, you know, I, I read all the time online, I watch all the videos, so it's okay, like don't give me advice at times, and maybe it's okay to also ask, do you want advice? And I'm really grateful to have friends that do sometimes just listen, 
that's okay so yeah that's that's mostly what i would call unwanted advice when it's not necessary and you just you just need to shut up and listen okay i guess, I guess it's still coming <laughs> more of it yes then there's a question for you have you prepared for fatherhood how can one really prepare them um I'm prepared mentally as best as I can, mm. financially, because we need to. Yeah. Um, I think that's as far as I've been. I'm excited uh, to, to see the little one spend time with daddy. <laughs> he wants to call me pops. Yeah, he wants to see. Um, he doesn't want to die, da. He wants um, to hear papa. Pops, papa. <laughs> and I think you're pretty prepared. I think between me and you, you've had more experience with babies than I have. No, 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 no. What, he doesn't have any children <laughs> outside of this marriage and baby you're the only one you're the first one okay listen yeah, no listen your mom no there. like your baby cousins like yeah, you, yeah. you've actually Funny changed more diapers than i probably have in my life you know yeah no um, for sure that, and you sure. yeah you've experienced baby crying and things like that that i don't think i've had a long enough experience my youngest sister was born when i was seven so I think my mom really did most of the, the taking care of the baby and motherhood part. Mm. I know the mature side where I was just frustrated and I was like a, you know, big sister, big sister par slash parent, um, sort of like, you know, and I'm usually strict and my mom would be the one stopping me from shouting at my, yeah, that's it. Uh, Still yeah, do. my siblings. So <laughs> that's the only motherhood experience I have. Will you be in the delivery room? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I've really been incising myself out to cut the umbilical cord. I've been really cool. Um, I've got one foot blind. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's going to be kind of tricky, but we'll see. I'm excited. It's Something you literally had to like take time out to think about, pray about, and I was just like, okay, no, nah, not now. Nah, <laughs> I'm joking. Spice. But you did take your time. You took forever to give me an answer. I just said I'll think about it. Okay. Am I not allowed to think? No, it's your baby. Just cut the gold. Just cut them a little good. Do you know? Let's see what I gotta deal with. 100% <laughs> natural, natural with painkillers or C section. <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> yeah, so I I want to have a 100% natural birth, but you know what? To be honest with you, I'm happy with whatever happens at this point. I'm literally at the point where I'm like, baby, if you come today, doctors approved that you are healthy <laughs> you're good come baby it's, it's okay. okay however you come so um if needs be that it, it is a c-section lord have your way um if i'm in extreme pain and i can't take it i am not going to be against an epidural um on, you can do it. yeah you know what i want to go natural but i don't want to plan too much because you don't leave room for disappointment if you plan to the t so yeah that's how i feel about it do I have a high pain tolerance? So this is sort of like piggybacking on the question on whether or not I'll give 100% I want to give 100% natural. natural birth um, I don't know if how high my, my pain tolerance is Not very high uh, Really? <laughs> no, I think I've got a pretty... well it depends I think I've got a pretty high tolerance but I don't know what excruciating pain is because like even people say oh it's 50 times more than period pains I don't have a lot of like hectic period pains my back can hurt but a massage does the trick and I'm good and that's literally the lightest compared to how I've heard people having pain people not going to work people not going to school um, you know not being able to walk that kind of thing like I don't know that type of pain but I'm scared of needles and I think that's why you think I, I don't have a high pain tolerance level I mean that that's so judge that no no you can't judge on that because <laughs> it's the needle it's the needle I go through it but it's just the needle who said that I don't like that I'm basing it off needles come on because that's the only thing that that's really been like our experience We're going to hospital so many times it's like uh, you know um, and that's just like here <laughs> yeah no anyway let's not talk about that <laughs> I think I have a high pain tolerance okay yes that's my answer. <laughs> Season. Yes. Do you know the baby gender yet? Okay, so yes, we did say we know the baby gender already, and what we can tell you is that I wanted a boy, and have you wanted a girl. girl? That's all we can tell you. And yeah. yeah, you guys guess what it what it is. How did we find out? It was one of those. That yeah. You're feeling sick from travels, work. 
and came back. Came back. Sick. Went to the doctor. Very sick. I think it was it was probably the sickest I, I have been in a long while. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So I had diarrhea and I had headaches and in fact the Saturday that I came back from Dar es Salaam was just horrible. I was. I think was it on the floor. I literally sat on the yeah. floor and I was like, I'm not feeling so well. I don't know what's going on. Um, but but yeah. the only thing, what was crazy was the fact that it was almost as if all the symptoms of traveling up to Africa yes. and the symptoms were cholerated. They were literally lining up. So it was either I was pregnant or the reason was I've traveled too much and this is why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. Yeah. And I hadn't taken my malaria tablets when I went to East Africa, which was very bad. So it was like a combination of different reasons. It could have been anything. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we didn't really expect to be pregnant in a way. But I suspected it because I didn't get my period. And I'm always regular, like yeah. on time, all That's the time. That, that you were I was adamant. Certain. Yeah. Like, I don't miss a day, not a day late, half a day maybe, but not a day late. So, anyway, um, after that, we went to church the Sunday morning. People made jokes because I still wasn't feeling well. <laughs> you remember Brother Sean? Brother Sean. Oh my gosh. He was like, He was uh, like, Yeah, no, no. Junior, Junior's coming. Junior's coming again. And he's been at it. Since you got happened. married. Yeah, it's like people yeah. were just, I think people spiced it up so much it happened. Like, it just, it just had to happen. Y'all got it, man. Yeah, Go so basically we went to the doctor and I wanted to, obviously something to help with the diarrhea um, and the doctor before she gave me meds was just like, let's just check because you're a woman, you know, let's just double check if everything's still the same. <laughs> and turned out that I was pregnant. So that's, that was it. How did we react? Initially, I just walked out of the doctor's room and gave Lossie I showed him the test and he's like, what does this mean? And he didn't know what the lines meant. Um, and I think you were still paying or something. You were by the reception. Yeah, I was paying. Yeah, and that was that. Um, we, we we just found out we were going to be parents. So I went into the car. Obviously, I had my prescription. We had to still get to the pharmacy and get the tablets. But we just sat for a little while in the car and looked at each other. He had a smile. He had a huge smile on his face, and I was just like, <laughs> like we're pregnant. Like what? Wait, this wasn't part of the plan. What? Do we believe in God, parents? Not personally. Really. No. No. He's a godfather, and listen to him. Um, there's not much that you can do if somebody is kind of like, okay, that's your rule. This is what I want. Like, okay. I still think you could say no, but um, I understand the position that you're in. Right. I, I still think you'd take the role even if you didn't have a title. Because I mean, sure. they're really close friends I mean, of ours. Very close friends. Yeah. So it's just one of those. Um, personally, what I always do think about is just that our close friends would automatically assume yeah. those roles without the doing title or saying anything, having to tell them, okay, guys. This, this, and that. So mm. yeah, and yeah, that, that's that's about it for my we side. We don't we don't think we'll have um, like dedicated godparents. Maybe in our world we won't even. I don't think in our world we'll write that they're godparents. But I do think it's important for us to state if we were to, you know, something were to happen to us, Lord forbid, <laughs> right now. So yeah, um, we would probably nominate two people, which would be really like our besties. Honestly, but like we say, they they would assume the role fully and completely, and even beyond yeah. that, without being called godparents. And that's the type of friends that we have, fortunately, and we're really grateful for them. Have you had any nanny self nominations so far? <laughs> um, I can think of a few people who would just be like, "I'll take care of the baby. I'll take care of the baby." Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Caitlin from church. Okay. Yeah. She literally told me again <laughs> last weekend, I want to take care of the baby. Um, and a couple of friends at the baby shower, I think maybe it was just like, because maybe it was just because people felt they need to say something, I don't know. Yeah. Well, hey, when we want you to look after the baby, <laughs> we gonna call you. We'll call you. We're gonna call you. <laughs> yeah, and I've, I've sort of nominated like my, my siblings. Like, 
they don't have a choice automatic do you think you'll be as active on youtube after being a new mommy i honestly think i'll be more active once i am fully into it um obviously the first month or two of baby being around will be fully dedicated to me taking care of baby i don't think i'll be posting as much but right after that i do believe that i'll be pushing even more i think newborns and new beginnings in your life give you more reason to push and now that somebody's going to be looking up to me i'll be working harder to you know just yeah just push really so at the moment i'm exhausted i'm always feeling tired and i do realize that my strength level is not where my mind is like my mind is going faster than what i physically can do yeah so at the moment i'm really slow i'm only uploading once a week when i can um and it's difficult but i do believe that once baby's here and once i am fully fired up again ready up and going and baby's you know at least eight weeks old um i'll, I'll just i'll just come at it in fact i want to do two videos a week at some point so starting from this year so if it's not september it's definitely from october um and yeah i think i'll have more reason to just push at life i'm already somebody who is motivated self-motivated and motivated from hubby and i think baby number one <laughs> will be more enough more than enough motivation yeah. to just keep me going um and being even more active so yeah that's how i'll answer that question any chance we'll get a labor and delivery vlog nah personally again um on my side it's just there's certain aspects that we want to uh, share with you guys and then there's others that we don't and this is one that we've actually discussed quite a few times yeah and just to consider as well family and respect for family as well just to see because i mean it will be a special moment because i mean both our mothers will be their first, first time, time grandmothers, grandmothers yeah. so we don't really want to be putting them out there in that sense mm. um from so what yeah. we've watched it's it's just it's too much it's too real man yeah and and to be honest with you <laughs> as much as i'm very public or share i'm a sharer it's just a really private space that I think we should keep to ourselves and for our family's sake as well. It's not something that I want to show too much. It's just really invasive. Not not necessarily you being invasive, but everything, showing everything. What I do think we will try and do is capture the moments that we think are really important, but for ourselves first. Um, and then the snippets that I do want to share with you are parts where I think where Happy's talking about, you know, how he's feeling during those times. Even if, if he does get the strength to even you know talk on camera while i'm in I'll, labor I'll you know crush <laughs> screaming doing whatever yeah so those those moments i do want to capture um and if i can talk as well i will pick up the camera and that i might share in a story time a video like a delivery how my delivery went and that kind of thing yeah. so yes you'll get a delivery story and how my labor went but i don't necessarily think you'll get the actual footage of everything happening from start to finish there will be bits and pieces but not to a point where it's too sensitive and a point where our families will feel like yay yeah, so <laughs> <You know? laughs> no we don't want that will we be having baby related content on the channel <sighs> so i know a lot of people love baby content but I did address this in one of my previous videos. I don't think I'll be a mommy vlogger, so to say. I won't capture every single journey that I go through just because I I'm, I don't see myself as a mommy vlogger. I think I'll share as y'all shares. And as long as it's true to me and authentic to y'all, it will be on my channel. So whether it's like little snippets or a vlog featuring baby, whether it's, you know, how I'm feeling at the moment or what I'm going through, that's okay. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. But dedicated baby content like, yeah, this, this and that. Is that yeah. No, I've seen, you know, particular how baby does this or how to do this for baby. That can, I won't do that because that's just not me. And you can see right through me if I'm pretending or anything. And I never want to ever put anything up on <laughs> on my channel that even my friends can just pick up and be like girl that's not you yeah. calm down will lozzy take paternal leave <laughs> okay well uh, leave well the yeah. thing is i work from home yeah so we both work from home so yeah it's just one of those that i will definitely be taking time off yeah um obviously closer to the time yep and once baby says listen yeah I want to pop y'all. Then obviously it's purely all hands on deck. 
Yep. Until you get your lander also gets comfortable with some sort of routine um, mm. helping around. Um, then thereafter, I mean, it was quite some hours in a day, so yeah, it's, there's no. No traction though, right? No, definitely not. Still, okay. uh, still remain to that. No yeah. traction. Mm. Um, yeah. What have you bought so far? Jeez. We've bought everything at this point. Everything. We went to the baby expo and we got the stroller. We got baby's bath thingy thingy with the bath changing setup. pad. Um, car seats Babies, sorted. Cart. Cart. Yeah, all the big stuff that you yeah. need. We have. Kind of and sorted nappies all good We've got like diapers for days. Like yeah, the guest our, bedroom. Our guest bedroom like is just it's diaper storage. storage. Yeah, yeah storage. literally. Bottles. Um, we've bought everything. I mean, <laughs> it was kind of scary when we came back home and realized how much we spent. Oh my gosh, babies are expensive. Yeah. Um, and the yeah. car. Even packing needed. Oh my gosh, we had to flatten the back seat. Yo, oh, that was hectic. But I'd encourage anyone who is expecting, um, and obviously when it's closer to their birth, because I was yeah. only about a month and a half ago, the expo that we went to, yeah, it was in May, so it's only yeah. the beginning of July now. Um, yeah, to go and and actually buy the stuff at the expo. There's one in May and there's another one in November, and it's so much cheaper. Yeah, because I mean, like, we can easily say that there was massive saving. Massive. Massive, massive saving. saving on everything. Actually, that, that, everything we bought was on sale. Yeah. Yeah. So that really, really helped. If you do plan on, you know, planning for the baby, and I know some black families, like where we come from, um, and that, that I've heard even at church, um, I think I told you, mm. uh, well, this other chickie said that when they wanted to buy stuff, the family was like, no. In fact, they bought stuff and they were yeah. like, take it back. Take it back. You don't buy, you don't be hey, paying. Man, listen, I was also a bit on the early stage. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's like it's too early. Wanna always make sure that baby's healthy. Mm. Don't be jinxing things. Yes. You know, a lot of things do happen. Yeah, we hope um, for the best. So, um, just most yeah. things, just keeping in prayer all the time. Yes. And just making sure that not anxious about such things. So, those were the reasons that we didn't buy anything to anything. For even, a long time. Even though yeah. someone did kind of go crazy. I bought the time. first outfits. Well, without letting me know. Yeah, before I even knew the gender of the baby. I let his mom know first before <laughs> letting him know. And then I made him close his eyes and walk in the room and see what I brought because I felt so bad. I felt so guilty. Um, but it was broodiness and just feeling baby fever, baby fever. Um, but yeah, there was just like three or four outfits and I felt horrible buying them. Well, it felt great at the time. It's after the feeling of like, you know, yeah. But it comes with culture, I suppose, and belief. Like, you don't want to. Go ahead uh, before your eggs hatch, kind of thing. You know that whole that whole thing. Well, the question also was asking: Do we buy clothes or toys? We actually bought clothes also um, here and there. Not that, not that actually a lot. Okay, not that much. I don't know. A moderate amount of clothing. Yeah. I think because we, we, we don't know baby size. Size. Size is like quite a tricky and one babies. at this rate. Hey, I'm a tall guy. Yeah, I'm being kicked in the ribs all the so, time. So. I don't know baby yeah i know already baby's big like i know that so that's all we know With newborn stuff i try to avoid i buy like zero to three months stuff um and then obviously the baby showers i had a baby shower that Kobano did organize and then i also had another one last weekend at church that the church organized which was also amazing yeah so again i came back home with so many clothes and my husband actually was kind enough to wash them <laughs> so yeah it's it's a lot we do have a lot of now we have more toys as well because we came with like bath toys from church yeah, and stuff like that soft stuff, yeah soft stuff we haven't bought like toys in particular ourselves no will you have an older female around you for the first weeks after birth or just mom and mommy law we'll just have mom and mommy law really to be honest yeah um no we won't if we get a nanny or any helper it will probably be much later um, but not anytime soon. Not anytime. For now, it's just our moms yeah. that will be around. Yeah. Keeping it intimate like that. Yeah. Oh, and I'm going home. So my mom, my mom lives in Cape Town, and my mommy law is in Pretoria. I'm not. I'm most likely going to be at my place for most of 
you know baby's newborn life mm. if that makes sense baby's first few months i'll be based at home um and if i do go anywhere i might go to pretoria for maybe a week or two yeah um where my mom-in-law is and going home to cape town will probably be once baby's a little bit bigger like a few months old Correct. um i stay with mom but it won't be for the sake of you know taking care of my mom's gonna come to the side to help me do that and teach me stuff um when baby's fresh out of my tummy <laughs> um but yeah i don't yeah unfortunately i wish i could if mom lived in Joburg. but getting on a plane with a, a child that's like you know a few weeks old oh, i'm not you're not comfortable with that no so that's the best that we could answer i don't think we've left out any generic questions um we have told you guys how we found out we have told you about um what we want natural birth and yeah that's ideally the case but like we said if anything happens anything happens god is on the throne man yeah um so yeah thanks baby for taking your time oh, cool. i know it's tight he literally has to rush for a meeting right yeah. now um yeah but i really appreciate it i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope you're not too disappointed that i won't be we won't be showing the birth vlog but that's just how we feel at the moment mm. Who knows, like, hey, I, I, i'm joking <laughs> we definitely won't change our mind on that one <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up if you did. Comment down below and let us know your guess on baby's gender. And lastly, do subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so, so much. And that's it from us. <laughs> Bye.